Oh, George. Oh, welcome to tier one. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining, becoming a member, you guys. Say welcome, everybody, to George. George is a member whoop, 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 of the Super Jacob YouTube channel. Thank you so much. And now George can use the emoji. Now you can use the Coco emoji. <laughs> More emojis coming. So now that everybody's joining, becoming members, you can definitely, we're going to uh, amplify. We're going to um, add more emojis. We were thinking, I don't know if you guys think this is a cool idea, but. Uh, oh, just another Roger, tier one, two. Woo, welcome. Just another Roger. Thank you for joining. Thank you for becoming a member. I was thinking, now I don't know if you guys, what do you think? Tell me what you think. To, I, <laughs> I mean, this could be a bit creepy maybe, but if you think it's funny, we could do it. To, we could also make me into emojis. So like you could have me doing like me being like uh, imitating the smileys. You know what I mean? Like I could do the side eye. I could do the like. Oh, one of my favorite ones is like this guy. You know, I use this one a lot. Like, eh. you know, we could make me do that. I could do. Oh, the the winky one. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? We could make we could turn me into emojis. Um, I got the second one free. <laughs> yeah, right. You only have to pay for the cocoa and then you get the gift, the heart and the perfume bottle for free. <laughs> sure. And you paid shipping and handling. So you guys, okay, let's do it. Let's do this other video. This is going to be a fun one because we're going back into cosmetics. Okay. So don't get creeped out because, you know, it's all going to be like I'm beginning from zero. Okay. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, be creepy. I can be creepy. Trust you me, I can be creepy. All right, let's go. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Jacob here. Today, we're going to talk about Chanel makeup in all its facets. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so I have ordered um, online. I had a really cool voucher with another store. Long story short, anyway, I got over 30% off, so I was super happy. But this is all over now, unfortunately. But... I got some stuff that I want to go through with you. Um, first and foremost, this little guy, unfortunately being discontinued, and I wanted to really try it on. I might do this in a video soon. Let me know if you're interested. This is the um, Long Wear Powder Eyeshadow in the color number 18, Verde, or green. Verde in Italian is green. Satin or satine. So this color, usually kind of, they don't have it. Now, you have to, they say, for eyeshadow, yes, I want to start wearing eyeshadow again. I used to in the past. I have green eyes. I don't know if these lights really show. I have green eyes. And usually they say, well, if you have green eyes, you know, use something uh, red or blue or whatever. But I love to do the creepy thing. <laughs> when something is slightly off, like, this is my motto. If you're going to use makeup just to enhance your beauty, then use makeup that doesn't show as makeup. Use makeup that nobody will even know you have makeup on. That's masterful. That's like a masterpiece of makeup artistry. For me, the best makeup art is when you don't realize that you have makeup on. You know, that it's just placed there delicately to enhance your beauty, to cover a couple of flaws that you might have or whatever, pimples or, you know, stains, whatever it is, or scars if you want to hide the scars. I think scars are beautiful personally because... They're a part of you. That means you survived something and you're carrying them with pride and joy. But whatever. To each his own, right? So for me, really good makeup is something that enhances your beauty but doesn't show as makeup. And then there's this other category where I say, if you really want it to show, if you really want the makeup to be makeup and vis visible, then you should go for the... for something that's slightly off, you know, because we're so used to this glam makeup. It's really boring for me, after so many years of seeing it on people, it's always the same highlighter stuff and everything is blended in masterful and everything is like so on fleek. It's like looking at corpses that uh, have flawless makeup on them because they're also so face tuned and everything. Anyway, so what I like to do is go the opposite direction. If I am going to have visible makeup, I want it to clash. And one of the biggest clashes is if you actually try to kind of combine to match your eye color with the eyeshadow, which nobody really ever does. But I love to do it. And I hunted down this green color. Let's open it up. 
Is that a little paper in here? No. Super simple. Love their little pouches, the little patches and pouches. I mean, you can say what you want about the quality of Chanel makeup, but nobody does packaging like Chanel. Nobody. Nobody. Uh-uh. And look, I th this time it's gold. I usually had them with white double C's. With this light, you can't really see, but this is a golden double C. All right, you get the little brush and the little other sticklet there, and you get the green color. Now, the green color, let me take this little protection shield off with the double, everything has a logo, you guys. I'm a little Chanel monocle, this is cool. Hmm. That's an emoji we should think about doing. I love the smell of their cosmetics, anyway. Check out this green. Check this out, you guys. I love the texture. So let me... Oh, it's not so intense, not so, you know. Oh, okay, it is a little bit metallic after all. Oh, it's dirty, it's mossy. Ah, I'm living. Look at this, it's like dirt, but it's... Yeah, okay, well, this is overlaid. I'm going to have to put it on and make a proper photo with the proper lighting. This is film lighting. We need a photo lighting. But this thing here, it's a mossy green. It, it almost looks brown here on camera, but... Let me get more. All right, there you have it. Oh, it's so gorgeous because it looks so natural. It looks like you went into the forest and you rolled in in the oak moss and in the underneath the trees where, where, where the grass starts growing and, and there's like soil and earth and it's like a mix. It's a very, very natural color. It's so beautiful, but it does not show with this lighting, guys. Hmm. Um, Oh, Brendan, welcome to tier one. Welcome, welcome, my dear, welcome. Thank you for becoming a member. Now you got the emojis, girl. <laughs> oh, and it smells really good. It doesn't have the rose smell because obviously um, this is not a blush. So they're putting the, the perfume, the blush with rose. But this is so beautiful. And it's, it's a dirty color. It's an earthy, dirty green, mossy, mossy green. It's so gorgeous. Loving it. Now, obviously, for those who are used to having these highly pigmented colors and say that the highly pigmented colors are deemed good quality, yeah, okay. But I don't need the highly pigmented colors to enjoy, you know, makeup. I, I don't. Anyway, so that would be the green color, verde. Now moving on to the next uh, little uh, special piece. Um, now, for those of you who follow me on Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together, Instagram profile, you might have already seen the Rouge Noir. This is my favorite historic Chanel uh, lipstick. I'm gonna open it up. And this is uh, the Rouge, Al uh, Rouge Allure lipstick. So you click it to open it. See, click it to close it. ASMR. Okay, open, close, open, close. We take it out. And it is a black red. Of course, with the really, really intense spotlights here, uh, they tickle out more of the red. But... In natural lighting, uh, it's a darker red than this. And it almost goes into a brown hue, uh, into a brown hue, but it is red with black. So I got this uh, lippy with the Rouge Noir nail polish. 
which for those of you who follow me on, on Super Deco, but also on Coco Chanel's in my house, you would have seen, I <laughs> put this on four layers of it, four layers. Long story, I'll test it again on, on video, but I, I did one layer, two layers, three layers, four layers. At the fourth layer, it bubbled up. Um, and yes, I waited a day before I did the third layer. Like, anyway, it was, long story short, uh, works wonders when it's um, layered in lower doses, but you got to really apply it correctly. Otherwise, you have it lighter or darker in some spots. So if it's lighter, it looks more red. If it's darker, it looks more like blood. It's a very fascinating color, though. Loving Rouge Noir. Then... I got Rouge Coco from the range. I got Carmen, color 466. Now this one is gorgeous. This is, okay, first of all, this is my favorite uh, lipstick container by Chanel because it is old school. Um, well, not really old school. It's more 80s, it's not really 20s Chanel, but that pushing magnetic thing up, that's fine too, but I love the classic, you pull this off and you got the lippy. This, and then you gotta twirl it to open it. I love that. That's, to me, classic Chanel. Now, under this light, this color looks orange, but it is not. This color is a very intense red. It's a beautiful, warm red. The lights tickle out the orange because they tickle out all the uh, warm components of, of red. Red can have more components of blue or orange. The orange turns the red into a warm red. The blue turns the red into a cold red. This is a very warm, in fact, Carmen, the name, it says itself, you know, it's very Spanish and very hot. Now, that color, really, that's not the color. It is a warm, beautiful, it's a classic Chanel red color. Uh, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. But if you go on their website, 466 Carmen Rouge Coco, you will, on the website, you will see the exact color of this, of this lipstick. Then I got um, also Rouge Coco, the ultra hydrating lip color called Jean 454. Now this is the most daring color, I would say, for Chanel standards, um, because it is rare to get a Chanel purple. This is like a pure purple. And again, these lights tickle out a warmer hue inside of the color. It is a much darker purple than what you see on camera right now, but it is a gorgeous purple tone. I do not know how much it covers, how well it covers, but it is a beautiful purple, and I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And the last but not least, we got a Rouge Coco Flash. This should be hydrating, a vibrant, shiny lip color called Amour, number 92. This is another one of those intense, extremely highly glossy and shiny, 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 shiny lipsticks. Slightly different container, because if you can see here, let me put this back in so it don't forget what was where. As you can see, so our Jean, our purple uh, lipstick, which is this one, you see how much bigger the box is? And this is a thinner one. So the Rouge Coco Flesh is also smaller in quantity. It's only three gram, uh, while the other ones are 3.5 gram. But anyway, Amour or Love in French has a new container, they have updated their style, and this, even though they say it's new and they've updated their style, it is actually closer to the 20s Chanel, because Chanel in the 20s did use a transparent top for her lipsticks so that you could see, oh, they were beautiful. You can check out some of the old school 20s and 30s Chanel cosmetics on my Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together, Instagram profile, where I showcase some photos from uh, the latest exhibition that is going on now in Paris, where you can see some of the vintage old school Chanel lipsticks and cosmetics um, from the 20s and 30s. And there is, among other things, a lipstick within a 
gorgeous, gorgeous transparent plastic container. Similar to this, the concept. And here you, you're supposed to be able to see the color through this transparent top. Loving it. And then you pull it off, or you pull it open, and then you get, again, this color here is different than what you see on camera. It looks much warmer on camera than what it is in real life. Um, this one it comes kind of close. It's a very, very dark red. The, the color of love. Never give up on love. That's why I got this one. I got this one because of the never give up on love concept. And this transparency, I mean, for this stopper alone, for my collection, this is just such a, a gorgeous, beautiful piece of design. It's just a great design piece. And it is metal, lacquered metal, and then with components in plastic as well. And then also gold on the sides. There's a bit of gold. This is really gorgeous. The, I mean, the packaging alone is just to die for. And then for my, the last action, I know I, I know I said last but not least, but then there is another one. Poudre Universel Compact, uh, the natural finish pressed powder, color 20. This is for my skin. This is kind of the lightest. They, I think they started producing color 10 as well, but I use the 20. This is, well, technically I use the Luminous Matte Powder Makeup. I have it on right now. It's the wider version. This is what I use for my videos. And then you have like the shorter version. This one is a bit less smooth. This is a bit more grainy. This one is a bit more rough. It absorbs more oils, but it's, it's a bit more rough around the edges, but I kind of like it. For filming, this one is much more filigrane, you know, it is uh, much more soft and velvety in its finish. You see it less on the skin and this one, it can easy, easily, you can overdo it and then you have like a a pudgy thing on your face. And then uh, that's it. That's that's what arrived. Of course, when I did the first impressions of Le Lyon, I that day when I got that little sample, I purchased uh, Rouge Charnel, and I did mention it in the video, uh, the first impressions video of uh, Le Lyon de Chanel. And I said, we're going to make a video on this one uh, and review it. So I'm not going to open it now because we are going to actually make a video on this one in particular because Rouge Charnel almost sounds like Rouge Chanel except it has the R in between so it's a game it's a word game and the interesting thing is is that uh, it is it comes very close this is Coco's Red it comes very close also to uh, Tyrion Red and Tyrion Pink those were the two colors that she used the most. It's the famous Chanel Red. Usually the fifth dress on her haute couture shows, uh, the fifth dress would always be a red dress. It would be a Tyrion Red or Tyrion Pink dress. And this lipstick kind of comes close to that shade. So guys, I hope you like this uh, haul. Uh, this makeup, uh, mostly lipstick, nail polish, powders, and eyeshadow haul from Chanel. If you have, please do thumb it up. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to join the Fashion Bunker. Become a member today. Click on that join button, which is next to the subscription button, and get access to extra perks and extra things like emojis, like uh, badges, like reruns of live streams, exclusive videos, um, what have you. The, actually, the more time passes, more perks will be added because the more the channel grows, the more things get added, get added automatically. Also, join me, uh, follow me on Instagram, Super Deco All Spelled Together, but also on Coco Chanel Privé All Spelled Together, where you get to see everything that Coco Chanel did during her life. And then also follow me on Coco Chanel is in my house where you get to see my Chanel collection, but also everything kind of related to Chanel, the brand of today. And thank you so much to my patrons who have been, who have stuck with me for the longest time. Thank you guys so much for helping out on Patreon. Of course, you get to see all of this and more because Patreon has been around for longer than the membership. So there's a lot of videos there that are totally secret and never 
came to YouTube. On Patreon, I'm also Super Deco Ball spelled together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.